What's up guys, Goro here and welcome back to another episode of the best team of the season team on FC24. We are back, it is the first one of a league earned team of the season for us in a week where it's been pretty rough, I can't lie for content. Very little in terms of good gameplay, very little in terms of good content and everyone's trying to boycott EA. So we haven't been around but we are back, we are here, we are ready to grind through a league and team this season. Hopefully it is going to be a good day for us. We've got plenty of evos to talk through, we've got plenty of packs to do, loads of objectives ready to claim as well so that will be very good. Plus I am going to do a big store pack at the end so we'll see how that goes. We're going to dive straight into things. If you guys are new to the channel don't forget to leave the video a like, rating, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And with that being said let's get into some of the packs we've already opened so far to see how things have gone this week. We've got the League and Tots Duo Guarantee Pack EA. Please, be good. Starting off with Medina at centre-back. That's decent rating. It's not great, but it's okay. Who else have we got? Veerman. Oh, no. That means that either there's... Maybe there is, I don't know, maybe a moment's card in behind. But Veerman seen there is not good. Yeah, Bentaleb and Loku. That's actually awful. Oh, and we get Captain Beer in the back. Yeah, don't do this pack. EA, give us from the League and Foundations pack. Give us a blue. It is blue. It's a good start. It is English. Right back. Okay, so we have a team of the season with a moment, which should mean that this is a better card than this team of the season. So EA, make it a big moment. It's got to be Mario Balotelli. That is really nice. Now, that is not quite a league and team of the season. But Mario Balotelli is perfect. I am really happy with that. Uh, we'll go with... We've actually only got two more of these 86 doubles left to grind through. It is going to be blue, though. It is going to be a German CDM. It's going to be Oberdorf and Huye. Please, give me somebody good. It's going to be Thiago Santos, which is all right. It's not amazing. I don't think he's super expensive, but... It is a brand new blue who I don't already own, and he's down at about 50k. So there we are, down here in the bottom right, we have some of our best pack pulls. And when you're looking at these being our best pack pulls, it's not been a great week, but I've hardly ever opened packs. I've got to be honest with you, I've hardly even touched the games. Um, it's just not been an enjoyable week, and as I said at the top of the video... People don't really want to watch FIFA content right now because of obviously a lot of people wanting to boycott the game and stuff. So things haven't been as easy this week and it's why I've kind of just took a step back because one, I'm not enjoying it and two, also people don't really want me to do anything, I guess. So, but anyway, it is what it is. Um, as I say, we also have a lot of Evos to get through. Now, I've already submitted a few Evos that we were already discussing. So by the time you're watching this, some of these Evos may have already expired. Some of them you've probably already completed, like the Premier League player. Um, what we have done is, as I'm talking right now, I'll show you the two cards that we did just submit. So we ended up doing Cody Gakpo to start off with. He is going in the Premier League team season. We'll take him to a 92 rated card altogether, which I think is going to be super, super fun. Um, obviously, as a Liverpool fan, it is great. And being a Liverpool fan, we're doing Emre Chan as well. Um, so Emre Chan is going into the Bundesliga one. So again, both base cards. So they're not like better cards, but both of them are the best available cards we haven't had anything better. I think it's going to be pretty good. So they're going in. Another one that we need to submit is Moment of Truth. This came out right at the start of the team of the season. And I'm still unsure on who to pick. Um, Diaz isn't going to go into this because we're going to submit him into something else in a second. But there's a lot of Evos where I just want to start getting players done, getting players complete, and then just putting them into the team so I can actually have some fun. Chloe Kelly is tempting because I never did her SBC cards. I didn't think it was worth it in all honesty. But a card that I would really like to just kind of keep special in the club is DRB. Now, right at the start of this game, this isn't my original DRB. No, this is my original DRB. I use this card religiously. He was fantastic, and I've never got rid of him just in case he fitted an Evo. And I think because he does, and I think because these guys are already all special cards as it is, yes, we could upgrade Simmons, but he's got a better card. Yes, we could do Giassi, but he's got a better card. Do I do Gordon? Part of me is thinking yes. And that card does look good. And you know what? I'm going to wait on the RB. We're actually going to do Gordon in this. So for me, at 6pm today on Wednesday, this is obviously expiring. So hopefully you guys have already submitted it. But we're actually going to do Anthony Gordon. I just think it's probably actually worth the card now that I've looked at it. 
kind of be stupid not to do it and um, but as i say we've also got ready to go in Gakpo and chan i picked santos for the live team of the season upgrade and um, just because i didn't really have anybody else obviously we we're already doing sober slide anyway for the upgraded foot champs uh, and then quant is just one that i'm doing myself but we've still got plenty more to pick through so we need to do a center back which i'm going to do joe gomez because once we get the plus on him he then basically goes in to this one which will make Joe Gomez a 93 rated centre back team of the season, which I want. I want to put him in the team, see what he's like. We've got the Ligan team of the season. I think this one for now, we're either going to do Hakimi or we're going to do Genaru, I think is how you pronounce his name, or Genru, however you pronounce it. One of these two cards is probably going to be who we do, but I'm just going to wait for Ligan team season to run out, see if we need any good things for the Ligan team, and then we can go from there. The team of the season upgrade is possibly going to go on Alvarez or. A brand new SBC that we've had recently and um, which I will go into now to show you because I am thinking about doing well we're definitely doing Leroy Sané we've got one segment left so we're going to get that done we're also going to complete Diani and we're going to complete Lacazette who fits the Evo so a 94 rated Lacazette is kind of what I want to do so we will eventually get around to grinding through these and getting them complete and stuff so so come on, might do just for me personally wanting it but i'm not too concerned about it we're also going to have a 90 plus weekly team the season upgrade now these are glitched the packs weren't actually opening last night for them which is again another issue with the game right now but we've got an 86 and 84 rated team so we'll end up building that through today as well because no doubt we'll get duplicates and the reason that i say we're going to get duplicates is because i have been very busy in objectives like very busy um and i've got to be honest with you we've got a lot of stuff to claim so we've got kobe Mainu who People have probably had them now for about two weeks, and I've only just got around to doing it, which obviously isn't ideal, but hey-ho. But anyway, Maynard is done. That's all good. So he's going to go probably not into the team, but definitely onto the bench for now. We also have our League and Foot Champs rewards, which I have completely forgot about. Um, it's awful when I've completely forgot about them. We've actually got 16 wins for this. So do you know what? Spontaneously, we're going to do our League and Team of the Season rewards. Now, obviously... At the start of the week, on Friday, they were all glitched. The only thing I can hope for EA is to give us something good. We will take Donnarumma or Golovin. I don't know who I want here. I'm thinking Golovin because he plays outfield, but Donnarumma could be a good option. Now, I am going to have to quickly check Footbin because I don't want to take Golovin and he's like 40k. Um, whereas, obviously, if we go ahead and take Donnarumma, he might be a little bit more. So... In terms of Golovin, he's 50k. Donnarumma is probably going to be more expensive than that, in all honesty. Donnarumma's 54k. So it really makes no difference who we take here. I think to upgrade the team a little bit more, we'll take Gianluigi Donnarumma as our first one. And then the second one, yeah, give us a PSG link to him. Mbappe, Dembele. Oh, that is so painful. We really should have took Golovin first. But either way, it's another 95 rated card. I've already got Bentaleb and Medina. I'm just going to take Dante. That is absolutely not worth doing. This is why Foot Champs rewards just aren't worth it anymore. So, before we go ahead and claim every objective under the sun, we will open our... So, we get the 50... Sorry, not 50k. The 100k pack, which isn't going to give anything, as always. Because, you know... Why would it? It's EA. They never want to give out anything to anybody. We'll discard all the duplicates. Um, we might also get into some player picks in Friday's episode. I really do like the player picks that are out right now. So we may do some of them at some point. 125k pack, again, isn't going to pay out with the blue. It is going to end up being... Okay, this could be really bad. Yeah, we've got an 84 rated. Yeah, EA really... Um, they're really not doing it right now. So for now, all things lie... On the league and guaranteed team the season pack. Three tradable cards. EA, you've got to make this good for me. Brazil. Centre back. It's Dante. It is a team of the season though. And with him is going to be... Oh my god, it's loco. Unless we can have a really good moment in the back. These might have been the worst rewards possible. We get Lala. I generally don't have any words. All right, well, they were awful rewards, can't lie. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to claim through all of the stuff that we've been able to get done. So 
thanks to playing all those games in foot jumps, which paid out to be absolutely nothing, we do still get some very nice fodder packs, which we'll obviously open them. Um, I am a little bit away from completing Deuce and Tadic, but I will make sure that that is done before 6pm when that expires. Same with the Ligon um, and the D1 stuff, I will get that done as well. So we'll do them for the next episode to get it all complete. Daily play, we are all done on that, which is also going to mean we have a guaranteed team of the season pack i think from the daily play um from what i remember which again more than happy with completing that which is great and um, we also get a league and 45k pack which is very nice as well so that is going good for us the daily login we've got one final day left to go on this so again that guaranteed pack will be in friday's video in our final league and pack, pack pull push whatever we're going to do to be honest with you we might do a bit of gameplay as well we haven't done gameplay for a while so we'll probably get that done one thing that i have really really worked on is every single objective that EA released, um, which gives out for the cup, which gives out for anything else like that. So we're going to go through and claim it all. Um, again, because you were able to do all of this in the cup as well, I just went in with like the women's leagues teams, um, just a full team like that, get them all in, win a few games, and then all the XP's done, you get all these bonus players, and you know what? I'm all for it. It's an easy way to grind through packs. Now, we're not going to show every single pack that we get here, because I've got to be honest with you, you don't want to see me open 81 times two packs galore, but what we will be able to do is go through, show the highlights of all the packs, show what we actually get from grinding the game, because you do end up getting some good stuff, um, don't get me wrong, sometimes there is some bad stuff, but the majority of the time it is good, and um, the explore ultimate team as well i need to do the stars but this wasn't working for me the other day apart from that these packs aren't great so i'll purely just open them in my own time but yeah let's go get into the highlights of every single pack that we've just claimed there and just before we do that one thing i did forget is obviously sissoko was a duplicate so that is going to mean that along with using the loco card for the guaranteed um team of the season pack in the 86 rated team we also get the 90 plus weekly team of the season upgrade ready to go and it may pay out for us, it may not. We've got 44 packs all together here. So, as I say, I just want the best packs to see what we can actually get, to see if we can make any improvements or whatsoever to the team. Because right now, apart from maybe Donnarumma, none of them make the team, but also because Donnarumma is going to be on such low chemistry, part of me doesn't even want to do that. So we'll start things off with the Liga and a Prime Player Pack. It isn't going to be a walkout. And let's see what else we can get. Oh, go on, blue. Come on. French. Left back. Oh, it's going to be Loku again, isn't it? Double, maybe? This is from a two-rare gold pack. So, I mean, it's all right. It's a blue. It's another one. It's still pretty awful. Right, so to get rid of him, we're going to chuck him in to that final team of Leroy Sané, which, again, looks a really good card. But does he make the actual team? Possibly, possibly not. We'll see. We might test him out in a bit of gameplay in tomorrow's video, but... Again, it's another team season to add to the club, which we will absolutely take. Blue, come on. EA, give us something good. Polish, goalkeeper. Okay, it's the D1 Arkema, or however you pronounce it. It's the goalkeeper for that. I mean, she's high rated, so if we do get her again, it's nice fodder. And again, it's another blue from an 81 double pack for a bronze. Do you know what? It's actually all right. Right, so another SBC for us to complete um, with a few duplicates that we got from an 81 times 11 pack. We are going to get Therny or Tierney done. Um, she is a card that I didn't even know existed, but actually looks half decent. Must have came out for Tuesday 6pm content. I wasn't here for this. I was at Anfield with some of the best trophies in the world. If you haven't seen that, go check out my Twitter. Links are down below to that. Uh, you will see what's going on there. But yeah, she looks pretty decent. Again, sort of similar to Leroy Sané. We probably aren't going to use her very much if we even do use her, but does fit my D1 Archimate team. So, do you know what? It's another special card into the club. Right, come on. 83 times 10 pack. Give us a blue. Oh, it is not blue, but it is Portuguese. Sentiment. It's Bernardo Silva. I didn't expect this to be a double walkout. Oh, wow, it's not. Jesus. Right, 84 times 4. It's got to be good, EA. It is blue. Okay, that's a good start. French. Right wing. Dembele. Nah, it's Lise Malou, isn't it? Ah, oh, of course we were going to get him at some point. It's not Lise Malou, it's De Castileo. Even still, though, it's not a bad card to get hold of. It's just Ousmane Dembele would have been absolutely perfect. And I mean, genuinely perfect, but instead we get a 40k team of the season. Great. Right, come on, EA. 86 times 3 pack. Give us a blue. What? How is that not going to give us a blue? 
It's going to give us Minan. Obviously, they're going to be double walkouts. But, like, I don't understand pack luck this week. Why have I got absolutely no luck? Now, considering that the blue luck hasn't been the best, one thing that will guarantee us blues is team of the season guarantee packs. So we've got three of them from those objectives. So starting off in number one, it's going to be a Spanish CDM Busquets. That is fantastic. I will absolutely take that. He looks super fun to use. A card I really want. 99 passing on him is going to be phenomenal. Usable pace. Do you know what? If that's our best pack pull this week, then it might be all right. If we can get Lionel Messi to go with him, though, that would be phenomenal. He is coming in at about 100 and something K, which, do you know what, is good for now. It's absolutely fine. We will absolutely take that. So starting things off very nicely. I have a feeling the next two may not be ideal, but hey-ho, we will see. Going into number two, it is going to be a Swiss CDM. Is that Zachariah? Do you know what? I'll actually take that. Again, another league and team of the season. Looks a decent card. I'm not saying he's going to be anything special. But some nice play styles on him as well. We will take that. Again, for just a bit of gameplay, it was absolutely worth it. Again, he's probably going to be fairly cheap, isn't he? Yeah, about 40 k okay for him. But again, I don't mind it. It's cards that are nice. It's cards that are usable. It's cards that will get into the club. And then our final guaranteed one, EA. Make it a team of the season and make it good. It is English. Left back from Ipswich. It's going to be, I know who it is, but I forgot his name, Davis. We've already got him in the club, so it is going to be a duplicate. Let's chuck him into an SBC and carry things on. All right then, so I have dealt with Davis. He has gone into the highest rated team of Diani. So I've built one of these 81 times 5 league and D1 packs. If it pays out, great. If it doesn't, which I, can, I really didn't think it was going to, it's fine. It is what it is. It is... That's actually awful. Okay, I'm never doing one of them again. I think it was like 285 rated teams or something. So that is definitely not worth it. Now, I've still got a lot of packs still to open. I'll open them in my own time because I want to get to this. The 90 rated team of the season player pack EA. Please make this worthwhile. It is English. It's a left wing. It's going to be Jaden Sancho. Now, that's normally quite nice. Apart from the fact that we already own him. But it is 94 rated a premium fodder for us which can go into another SBC at some point. We will absolutely take that. I think he's still worth, yeah, he's about 100k still, which in this current market, I would actually say is pretty decent. But overall, we've not really had too many upgrades to today's team. So, because we haven't had them upgrades, I'm going to do something that really shouldn't be done right now. And we haven't even spoken about the boycotting of EA because I don't really want to. Um, but one thing that they do say to do is not to buy thief points. And I'm going to do something. The Epic Legion Duo Guarantee Pack. I think this is the right one. It is. 50 items, 85 rated or higher. So, so many SBCs getting done with this. EA, give us something good from this Legion Duo Pack. It is going to start off with... Abamyang. That's nice. That's a really good start. I've not seen this card. He's fairly common, but I haven't seen him yet, which is really good. I do want to test him out. So, we will use him in gameplay in Friday's video, but with him is also going to be Donnarumma, who we've had as a red card. Now we get as a blue, which is definitely going to be fodder. And there still could be stuff in behind. I have a feeling this pack could be very nice to us. Oh, maybe, maybe it's not. Maybe they're the only two decent cards that we've got there. I think that's it, isn't it? We've got Ben Televin Medina as well. I was expecting to see maybe about four or five blues at the start there. We've got every single gold card under the sun, basically. Abamyang is coming in at about 350k, which is nice. Obviously, Donnarumma, we knew, was about 50k. But you know what? I actually think that was worth it. It is going to mean that we can complete Diani, Lacazette. They'll all go into the brand new team. Let me know down below what you guys have been getting in League 1 so far. We will be back, as I say, on Friday with a bit of gameplay, the final packs for League 1. For now, that's where we're going to leave it for today. I'm out. Peace.